Hi, this is Trey Kaiser. As promised, uh, this is going to be my Blu-ray Steelbook collection. I have them all on there. I just went through the past uh, hour or so since uh, going through all the shelves. and I think I got everything. I think I got all the Steelbooks. I think I got. I went through the whole, the whole collection. I think I have them all there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to periodically grab some and then just show you, show you, you know, show, show them, and then just you know put them to the side and just. Do it that way. Hopefully, I can breeze through this. Um, like I said, a lot more than I thought, and I have to get those bags. I think for it. And I want to want to do is I want to put them all in one area, so I may have to move things around. I got to decide which area I want to put them in and stuff. So just kind of move stuff around. Like I said, I got a couple of days off, so I got time to do it. So let's begin with this. Maybe I'll do some quick edits and stuff. But let me go get those stuff right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, that's the first pile. Okay, let's show you these and I'm just going to uh, put them to the side and hopefully I can pile them up over here, up here on top of this my little uh, ironing board I use as my desk, so to speak. Uh, first, uh, I mentioned Age of Ultron. This is the one with uh, the vision on the back of it. See, I haven't opened it. <laughs> uh, but this is the, the one with, uh, there was two, I think one with Ultron and one with Vision. And this is that steel book. And here's uh, Jurassic World 3D. I think this is a one of those, um, I might have won this in a contest or something. But anyway, this is Jurassic World in 3D. Okay. Next one is uh, the Target one, Lucy, Scarlett Johansson. And this is the other one. This is the other Avengers Age of Ultron. This is the one with Ultron on the back. Okay. And I have, of course, Hitman. Okay. And I have, oops, Mad Max, Fury Road, Charlie's got on uh, Tom Hardy. I love this movie. American Sniper. Sorry for the noise. I have the window open. Just gotta get some air in here. American Sniper. Uh, Interstellar. Uh, Brad Pitt and Killing Them Softly. A really good movie. Very underrated. My opinion. Lone Survivor. Mark Wahlberg, a really good movie too. Transformer, Age of Extension. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, of course, the remake that came out about two years ago or whatever. There you go. Then we got uh, Jack Reacher, Tom Cruise, really good movie. Then we have uh, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Steel Book. Uh, this is, I think, the Best Buy exclusive there. I think there was one with him, you know, this is the one with him with the helmet, and I only had one with him without the helmet on. And we have uh, Young Frankenstein, Best Buy. This is more of a metal pack, but I consider it a still book. Okay, and then we have, of course, Watchmen, Director's Cut. I got so many different versions of Watchmen, but I love that movie. Okay. That one. And then there's uh, The Big Lebowski. Real classic movie. John Goodman, uh, Jeff Bridges, Steve Buscemi, uh, Chronicles of not Chronicles, but it, yeah, well this is yeah, this is no, this is pitch black, the, the original, which is really good, the, the first one. And Vin Diva was the prisoner, really good movie. Then of course we got uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world, which is a really good movie. Uh, really good movie. I love that movie, Scott Pilgrim. Then we got uh, uh, Edward Norton, Luke Tyler. This is the uh, Incredible Hulk. Okay, I guess that's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, even though it's a different Hulk in the Avengers. But that movie, I think, started right. Then we got the Hulk. This is the one with um, what's his face with um, Eric Banner. Okay, it had a few decent things, and just uh, so the, the villain in the Hulk dogs was really a really bad thing. <laughs> then we got uh, Hot Fuzz. I love the Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, great comedy team. Then we, of course, we got the original Mummy, Brendan Fraser, Rachel Weisz. Okay. Then we got the Untouchables, uh, Kevin Costner, Charles Martin Smith, Andy Garcia, Robert De Niro, and Sean Connery. Chicago way. Put your one in, put your one yours in the hospital. We put one of his in the mall. Love that. Okay, so there'll probably be a quick edit here somewhere. 
why I just take this. Don't worry about it. There'll be quick edits in this because I gotta put that away and then grab the other pile, so don't worry about it. Okay, now I'm back again. Let's see. Uh, next up, Spectre 007. Next thing up, Southpaw, Jake Dylan Hall, Forrest Whitaker, Inside Out, really good movie. The Last Wind Hunter, uh, Vin Diesel. I've watched this. I gotta watch to check this out one day. Dracula Untold. Uh, which is uh, Luke Evans. I like this movie. I know a lot of people give it crap and stuff, but I like this movie, Jack Lennon told. Okay, of course, uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, it was his hand. It's 25. Yeah, anniversary edition. I love, love this movie. Tim Burton, Johnny Depp. Then we have a uh, movie that was directed by Angelina Jolie, uh, Unbroken. This is a really good movie. I really like this one about the guys uh, in World War II, I think it is. Yeah, World War II. Jack O'Connell, the actor, really good. There you go. Using skins. Next movie, of course, is Furious 7. This is Scale Book. Okay, Furious 7. Then we got the remake of Robocop, which wasn't, eh, it was okay. It wasn't as good as it could have been. I love the original, but not that one. Then we got uh, Alfred Hitchcock, uh, John Sandbach's uh, Lightful. Really love this movie. Really good about these people stranded on a boat. Really good movie. Great cast. Two little bank dead. Uh, William Bendix, uh, Walter Slezak, uh, Mary Anderson, really good cast. Anyway, next movie, of course, is uh, Edge, what's it called? Edge of Tomorrow, which sounds like a soap opera, <laughs> with Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, and then Die, Repeat. I love this movie. Uh, Win the Wall. I love Emily Blunt in this movie. She was great in this, which is why I think she should definitely be a superhero. And when it, I don't know if it's DC or Marvel, whatever, she should be a superhero. I love Emily Blunt. Okay, this is The Hobbit, The Unexpected Journey, Steelbook. And then I have, this is more of a metal pack. There's a Washington, Mark Wahlberg, Two Guns. A really fun movie. Then we have uh, The Hobbit, uh, The Unexpected Journey, this is Extended Edition, Steelbook. And then we have uh, the remake, Total Recall, which uh, doesn't measure up to the original. The original one is great, uh, Alex Winsnager. This one's just okay. Okay. That's Colin Farrell, Kate Beckinsale, and Jessica Biel. I love that fight between Kate Beckinsale and Jessica Biel on the elevator. Great fight. And of course, we have the Avengers. This is the uh, collectible case. Okay, that came with this the original Avengers movie. And then we have uh, Back to the Future, limited edition. I think I got this. I uh, won this in a contest, uh, or I got this from overseas. For some, I forget which. I might have won this in a contest, but anyway, Back to the Future, the original limited edition steelbook, anniversary edition. Universal Studios. There we go. And then we have uh, Tom Hanks and Captain Phillips. I'm the captain. I'm the captain now. And we have, of course, Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> of course, again, Nick Frost and uh, Simon Pegg. We love this movie. Then we have The Departed, which is a remake. A great cast. Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson. I think Alec Baldwin's in that too as well. Then we got La Miserables. Uh, Musical, which I really love. Hugh Jackman, Russell Crowe, Anne Hathaway. I think she won the Academy Award. Uh, just a really good, really good remake. I mean, or, uh, you know, based on the play. And it actually is a remake, because they did have a movie, I think, with Liam Neeson, and this, so that is a remake, technically. Okay, and now we have Tom Cruise, The Last Summer. I gotta watch this. I haven't watched this yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big Tom Cruise fan. I'm just gonna watch that. And then we have Michael Caine and Zulu. I remember seeing this on cable and then I wanted to get it. And so when there's a chance to get it, I think I ordered this from Zabi.com. Zulu. Great movie. Great war movie. Okay, so that's that. There'll be another break in here while I go get the next pile. Stay tuned. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, next part. Okay, Ratatouille. I love this movie. Beautiful visuals. Next movie, Ryan Gosling, Carrie Mulligan, Dry. Great film. I love this film. Uh, next one, that was a Washington Man on Fire. This is just a great movie. Young Dakota standing in that. It's a great movie. This is absolutely one of Denzel Washington's best movies. If you won't cry up at the end of that, you, you're heartless. Okay, Kate Beckinsale, Underworld Awakening. Okay, there we go. And next movie, The Jungle Book, the cartoon, the original, classic. 
Next movie, Fast and Furious 6. There you go. Another good addition. Next thing, Dark Knight Rises. Bane. Okay. Next thing, Tom Cruise Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Really good movie. And the next thing we got Kurt Russell and James Spader, Stargate, which spawned a whole bunch of TV series and stuff. The original movie. And the next thing, Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible, Rogue Nation, another good movie, a good addition. Okay. The next thing we got is uh, The Maze Runner. I love this series, Maze Runner. Okay, and then this is the next one, Scorch Trials. Okay. And there's supposed to be a third movie, obviously, coming out. Then we got Ant-Man, Steelbook 3D version. And the next thing we got is uh, Brad Pitt, World War Z, which I think they're making a sequel to this. Okay, there we go. Then we got the remake, True Rip, Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, uh, Jeff, Jeff Brolin. Okay. And a young, uh, what's your name? And this is in this. Uh, Haley Stansfield is in this. True Grit, remake of the John Wayne classic. Then we got Requiem for a Dream, a really good movie. Uh, I think I won this in a contest or something. Or, no, somebody uh, sent this to me. Uh, I forgot her name. A YouTuber from Britain, she, she sent this to me, which I really enjoyed. Uh, of course, this stars Ellen Burstyn, Jared Leto, Jennifer Connelly, and Marlon Wayans. A really rough movie, but a really good movie. Okay. Then we got uh, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Okay. And we have uh, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Love the Hellboy movies. Then we got Lawless. Okay, great cast. Shia LaBeouf, Tom Hardy, Gary Oldman, uh, Mia Kwiatkowski, Jessica Chastain, and Guy Pierce. What a cast. Then we got Toy Story. Right here, still look, the original. Then we got Toy Story 2. I think I won these two in a contest. I should get the third one just to complete the set, even though now it's a fourth movie coming out. Then we got Rush and Ron Howard film, Chris Hemworth, Daniel Brule. I gotta watch this. I wanna really watch this about the race car drivers and stuff. It's really supposed to be really good. So gotta watch that. Okay, now we have uh, Thor, The Dark World. I just happened to look up, I missed it when it came out, but I, I went to another Best Buy when I worked in Jersey and I found it. Just randomly found it, not even looking for it. So I got Thor, The Dark World. Okay. And then we got True Grit, the original, with uh, John Wayne, Glenn Campbell, Kim Darby. Okay, the remake is pretty decent, actually. There we go. So that's that. Okay, and got to get the next pile. So another break. Okay, I'm back. Okay, now, next thing up, Batman v Superman. This is the Batman edition. <laughs> Take that off. So peel that thing off that, the tape off of that. And this is the Superman edition. I don't know why I left that. I don't know why I left that on there. No, I pre-ordered those. That's right. I don't know why I left those on there. Let's see. There it is. Exactly. Okay, that's the Batman edition. And that's the Superman edition. Okay, now next thing. Uh, uh, Mila Jovovich, Resident Evil, Retribution. And the last movie is coming out uh, next month. And then we got uh, Cinderella, the Diamond Edition. And this just comes with the case, and I have the regular Blu-ray, which goes inside the case. Okay. And then we have, of course, James Bond, best James Bond movie in years, Skyfall. Look into James Bond's past. And Final Destination 5. Okay. I like the way they kind of tied it all together. Django and Unta Unchained, a really good movie. Then we have... Uh, Monsters Inc. I think this is the German edition. That's why it says Die Monster AG. I think it's the German edition. I think that somebody sent that to me. Okay, and then we got Elysium. Okay, Matt Damon. I like the movie. They have read him. People give it crap, but I liked it. Okay, and then we got, okay, speaking, speaking of Matt Damon, then we got Argo, Ben Affleck, his best friend, uh, Brian Cranston, John Goodman. A really good movie. Uh, very underrated. Well, not underrated. He won a Academy Award, right? <laughs> Anyway, now the next three movies are, there we go, Divergent, okay, and I think there's one other edition coming out. Then we got Insurgent, okay, then we got 
Allergic. I forgot what the fourth movie is, but it's coming out, I think, next year. Then we have uh, Walking Dead, the third season. I got this deal, but this is like a Target exclusive. The Walking Dead, third season, steel book. Okay, and then we got Walking J, part one. Then we have Walking J, part two. Okay, then we have Straight Outta Compton. Great movie, great biopic. Then we have uh, Big Hero 6. I think they're making a sequel to this. Really like this. Oh, I should have got the 3D version of this. This is like Target exclusive. I think I ordered this from eBay. Big Hero 6. I really love that movie. Okay, this next movie is uh, Nosferatu. I think this is the remake. Yeah. What else? Yeah, this is the remake of Nosferatu, not the original. This is the one with Klaus Kinski. But really good, uh, really good scary vampire movie. The next thing is. These are pop art editions of these still looks as Easy Rider, Jack Nixon, uh, Peter Fonda, uh, Dennis uh, Hopper, okay, uh, Doctor Strangelove, okay, and I got the Criterion of Doctor Strangelove too. Then we have uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, this is the steel book. Uh, this comes with a, uh, this, I guess they call this a Magnum case, and it comes with a comic book. So I guess I consider this a steel book. Or like a metal pack or something. Anyway, then we got uh, Brave, Disney movie Brave. Okay, okay. There we go. That's a nice. I love the case for this for Brave. The movie was uh movie was kind of a disappointment to me. Then we have of course Finding Nemo. I love this shark. <laughs> Fish are our friends. Okay, look at that. All right, look at that. Hello. Those birds made me laugh. Finding Nemo. I have the original I can put in there. Then we have Amazing Spider Man. Still book Best Buy. Amazing Spider Man. And then we have Snow White and the Husbands. Best Buy exclusive. Okay. Then we have Jurassic Park. And this is a Zavi exclusive. I think I won this in a contest. Somebody sent that to me. And then we have a metal pack, The Wizard of Oz in 3D. I gotta watch this. I love The Wizard of Oz. I have a kid. I used to watch it every time. I think they used to show every Thanksgiving. They stopped doing it. But I love The Wizard of Oz. Uh, okay, Rambo. I think he killed like 200 people in that movie. That's more of a metal pack. Then we have The Dark Knight. Okay. It's a really great movie. Uh, then Batman Begins, Batman Origin Story, really love that one. Then we have Wrath of the Titans, the 3D version. And then we have, okay, uh, Sherlock Holmes, The Game of Shadows, Robert Downey Jr., uh, Jude Law. I really like his version of, of uh, Sherlock Holmes, Ghostbusters, the original. Okay, so that's that, another break. Shall I get to the next pile? I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Next thing up, uh, Fast and Furious 5. I got this, I think, from overseas somewhere. Maybe uh, Zavi, the Fast 5, Steelbook. Next thing I got is X-Men Apocalypse, okay, Steelbook. Okay. Next thing I got, of course, is Captain America Civil War, which I love this movie. Okay, next thing up is Gods of Egypt. I haven't watched it yet. I know this got destroyed. <laughs> it was a box office bomb, and I'll watch this eventually because I like the cast, but I know this <laughs> got destroyed as far as the movie's concerned. Now we got Star Wars The Force Awakens. Okay. Really enjoyed that one. Now we got 13 Hours, Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. I gotta give this a watch. I've seen the, like, the preview for that like, over thousands of times. Now we got X Men. Uh, this is the French version. I think I got from Amazon France. Uh, the first movie, the first, yeah, you know, probably called it, uh, for X Men First Class, excuse me, sorry, I'm drawing a blank on it because it's the French word. But that's the first version, which is really good. It came with a lot of stuff, came with a book and everything else. Okay. And I have a um, Blu ray player that plays, uh, you know, other distant American ones, so that's why I got that. Then we got Inglorious Bastards. I love this movie, <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. 
Then we got the wrestler, Mickey Rock. Really love this. I think he should have won the Academy Award for this. I think he was really good in this. Then we got, of course, we got the original Blade, which I love. Wesley Snipes. Okay. Then we got, uh, let me take this off of here. Another thing I pre ordered. Uh, Ten Colorful Lane, which was a really good movie. Uh, John Goodman, uh, what's your name? Mary Elizabeth Whitehead. Really love this movie. Can't wait for the next edition. Then we got Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Okay, I like this movie better than the first one. Okay, then let me take this off here. Yeah, another movie I pre ordered. Steel I pre ordered. Okay. Okay, now you see me too, which I haven't watched yet. I gotta watch. I like the first movie, so I gotta see this movie. No, I think the second movie got got kind of panned, but I gotta, I'll check it out just because I like the first movie. Okay, now we got Sucker Punch, Zack Snyder. I know people give this movie crap, but I I really like this movie, Sucker Punch. The visuals in this are great. I love the cast, and of course we got Kick Ass. I love this original movie. The second one uh, is okay, but the first one is. Just the best. Kick ass. Love that. Okay, then we got uh, Transformers, Dark of the Moon. Okay. Then we got Transformers. Uh, this is the second movie, I believe. Right? Yeah, the second movie. I've got, the, got this. I got this from overseas. That's why I can't remember the Because I think this is the German version. That's why it's not, uh, I think it's written in German. Oh, Revenge of the Fallen, excuse me. There you go. And Transformers, the original one. Okay. Then I got Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Okay. Love this movie. Then I have the French version, La Planet Singles Les Orangens. Okay. There we go. And I can't wait for War, which is coming out in July. Then I have uh, this one I got from my uh, from the Steel Book. Uh, <laughs> this is Steel Book Daddy. I call him uh, Captain America: The First Avenger. Got that one. Then I got Thor. The original Thor. I love that. I just love the look right here and the hammer and all that stuff. Okay. Then I have uh, Deadpool, which I missed initially when it sold out, but then they brought it back. Okay, so I snatched it when I saw it, they brought it back. <laughs> Deadpool, which I love. <laughs> then we got the sequel, Huntsman, sequel and a prequel. The Huntsman, The Winner's War, standard edition. Okay, which was okay. Uh, I like the original movie better. Okay, and then I, a really underrated movie, which I really like, Hit Slap. <laughs> okay, about these three chicks. Oh, you just got to watch the movie. Just watch it. I'm not going to spoil it. But I really enjoyed this movie, Hit Slap. It has a couple of characters from TV shows in this as well, but it's basically about these three women, and it's a really good movie. Very underrated, in my opinion. Then we got The Muppets, uh, and this is the with the collectible case. I got the other, you know, the movie that actually comes with. This is just the case itself. Okay, so I like that. I like that version with by Amy Adams and uh, what's his name? I got the guy's name. Uh, who's I? How I Met Your Mother. I can't remember his name now. Okay, he's in that as well. Then I got Black Hawk Down. I really love it. It's a really underrated war movie. Really great. Josh Hartnett is a great cast in this. I think Eric Bann is in this. Uh, who else is in this? Jeez, uh, I can't remember the cast. Oh, but it's a great cast in this movie. Black Hawk Down, really good more, more war movie by Ridley Scott. Just really underrated, in my opinion. Then we got the original Taken, which is a classic, in my opinion. Liam Neeson. A certain set of skills. Okay. Then we got Predator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, the original. Okay. And then we have Looper, a really good movie. Bruce Willis, Joseph Gordon Levitt, and Emily Blunt. I really like this movie, Looper. Okay, and I think this is a. Uh, I've got the actor. The uh, guy who, who, who directed this. I think he's the guy that. Is it Garth Edwards? No. The guy that's doing the Star Wars movie, Rogue Nation. Is that? No, no, Rogue One. I think that's the same director. I could be wrong. But great movie, Looper. No, Ryan Johnson. No, he's doing Star Wars. He did that. He's doing Star Wars Episode 8. Excuse me. Confused him with Garth Edwards. He did uh, Godzilla. But Ryan Johnson, who directed this, is directing Star Wars Episode 8. Okay. Okay. And next is a classic, Psycho. Okay. Nothing more needs to be said. <laughs> uh, Evil Dead remake, great remake. And he did uh, 
He also did uh, the Don't Breathe, the same director, which is a great movie. Okay, just trying to make this not, hopefully this doesn't fall. And you have G.I. Joe Retaliation 3D. This is The Rock enters in, and Bruce Willis is in this version, which is okay. And, uh, okay. Then we have a metal pack, more likely, with uh, Tom Cruise, uh, Oblivion. A very underrated movie. I like this movie. Okay. They kind of people underrated it. And Morgan Freeman's in that as well. More of a metal pack. And then we have The Hunger Games, the original. And then we have X Men Days of Future Past. Okay. One of my favorite comic books growing up. And then The Wolf of Wall Street. Okay. That's that. And another break. And I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. This should be the last uh, version, last part of this. Um, although I think I'm missing one movie. The second uh, movie, uh, not Rise of the uh the, the one in the middle of the remake. I don't know where that is. I was looking for it. I can't find it. I don't know if I gave it to my, one of my brothers or something. But anyway, if I don't find it, maybe I just can't find it right now. But I think that's the only thing that I'm missing right now. But anything else is my steelbook collection. Anyway, let's go on. Okay, just leave War. I really like the comic book and the, and the movie. Okay, Star Trek, the remake. Okay, Resident Evil, Afterlife. Okay. okay. Uh, Troy, Director's Cut. Okay, and then we have uh, Sin City, the original. I love that one. Then we have Full Metal Jacket, Stanley Kubrick, a classic. Then we have 300, another Zack Snyder movie I titled Love, 300 of that movie. Then another version of Watchmen. Okay. Then we have Lord of the Rings, of course, uh, excuse me, Return of the King. Then we have uh, The Two Towers. And then we have the original Lord of the Rings. And I have the extended versions, which is uh, up there somewhere there, over there. Okay, then we have Casino, great movie, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Sharon Stone. Okay, then we have A History of Violence, Viggo Morrison, David Cronenberg film, I love this movie. History of Violence, very underrated, love that movie. Then we have Traffic, another classic, Michael Douglas, Don Cheadle, Benny Chill Del Toro, Dennis Quaid, Captain Zeta Jones. Really great movie. I think this is by, right? Steven Soderbergh, yeah. yeah. Then we have the remake of The Wolfman, which uh, was, it was okay. It wasn't great. I love the original. The original is my favorite horror movie of all time. This one, not so much. And hopefully they're supposed to be doing that remake. Uh, you know, Universal is supposed to be doing that cinematic universe thing. Hopefully they this time when they do The Wolfman, if they do it this version, they do it They do it the right way. Okay? No no father being a werewolf too, okay? I don't spoil it for anybody who watch this, but... No father being the werewolf, okay, that bites his son and stuff, and then battling werewolves. No. You have to, I think, stick to the original story, which is great. It's a great tragedy and a great, which makes it a great story with Lon Chaney and Claude Rains. Just a great movie. And that's, and this one, I know, realized they wanted to change it, maybe change directors, I think, midway through filming it and stuff, but I think they went the wrong way with that, trying to battling werewolves. No. They should, if they would have stuck to the original story, it would have been a better movie, in my opinion, because the original movie is just a classic. Okay. Anyway, Al Pacino Scarface. Okay. Limited edition. Okay. Then we have Superman Returns. Okay. Uh, uh, Brandon Roth, who, who was a good Superman, and Clark Kent. Just that I'm sick of Lex Luthor being in, in Superman movies. Okay. You have to really move on to another villain. Okay. And like, I, just, I didn't like his costume in this either, uh, with the small S and stuff. But Brandon Roth was a good Clark Kent, who was a good Superman. Okay. It's just a shame he got kind of crapped on with this. You know, the movie was weak. Okay, uh, Jared Butler and J.B. Fox, Law Abiding Citizen, unrated director. Just kind of love this movie. I'm just getting warmed up. Uh, screen, screen four. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Then we have Green Lantern. This was the uh, Best Buy. I think this is when they first started doing still books because this is like a bigger than normal still book of the Green Lantern movie extended cut. Okay. See, it's bigger than a normal steel book. If you look, see, it's bigger than a normal steel book. See. Okay. 
just too bad they did it. But hopefully it's a Green Lantern is in the Justice League movie. And hopefully it is Hal Jordan. Okay. Hopefully they, you know, stop trying to let Green Lantern be in the Justice League movie. Okay. Anyway, Chronicle. A really good movie. It's a shame what happened to the director and with the Fantastic Four. Because I was really high, high hopes for that. Because Chronicle was really good. Okay. And next movie, next but not least, of course, is Creed. Uh, again, another movie with uh, uh, Michael B. Jordan. Really good movie. Creed. It's best it's low. Love what they did with the franchise. Then you got The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. Okay. Love those Peter Jackson movies. Then we have Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Commander, Commando, Director's Cut. I love Commando. It's a great movie. Then we have uh, another one of these uh, Leon, uh, the professional with the pop art. Okay, I love this movie, Leon. Young Natalie Portman in that. And Gene Reno. And Gary Oldman. Okay, and Stripes, another pop art one. Bill Murray. <laughs> love that. Harold Ramis. And another pop art one. Desperado. I love this movie. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, which you see, I haven't even watched yet. I gotta watch I, I mean, the movie didn't really interest me. I mean, I wanted the steel book. I guess I'll watch it eventually before the other movie comes out. But, yeah, you know, I'll see it again. I mean, it doesn't I'm not super motivated to see it. I just got it because I want the steel book. Okay. And then we got Fury, Brad Pitt. I love this movie. Uh, this is a really good war movie. Brad Pitt, uh, Shia LaBeouf is in this. Uh, Logan Lerman, uh, Michael Pena, John Barathol. Really good movie. Fury. Then we have Terminator Genesis, where they made uh, John Connor the bad guy, which is really stupid in my opinion. But yeah, it's entertaining. That's I didn't like that John Connor being the bad guy. Crap. That was to me that was just, you know. Yeah. Anyway, uh E. T. the extra text talk. Of course a classic. Okay. And then we have the Born Legacy. Uh I'm sorry what happened to Jeremy Renner. Uh he really got crapped on because it's the script in this was just horrible. I mean he really got crapped on. Okay, you know, they built this movie up for this big confrontation with him and the bad guy. And the bad guy gets killed by the chick kicking him off the bike. Yeah, they build it up to be this big confrontation. They, also, they said, "Oh, we're gonna send this guy that's off the books after him," and then the guy gets killed by getting kicked off. You know, by, by her kicking the bike that he's riding, and that's how he gets killed. And then the movie just ends abruptly. Just really bad decision on that. So that's you know, I was kind of hoping they would put him in the movie with uh, the one with Matt Damon, uh, Jason Bourne, but they didn't. Unfortunately for him. Okay, Men in Black 3, okay, still book. This was actually pretty good. Uh, when they did the young, uh, they had young Josh Brolin, me and young Tommy Lee Jones. He actually pretty did a good, pretty good imitation of uh, Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> then we got uh, The Hunger Games, two different. Okay, and that's that. And then we have Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Love Terminator 2. And then, last but not least, uh, Clint Eastwood, Gran Torino, get off my lawn. Okay. But anyway, uh, I think the only movie that I don't see here that I, I know I bought <coughs> is uh, uh, at Dawn of the Planes. Is it Dawn? Of, it, I think it was Dawn, the second movie in the trilogy. Because I you know, got the other version. But I know I bought the second movie from Best Buy. It was a still book in 3D and it came out. Unless I, when I looked over there, I, I missed it for somehow. And if I did, I'm... I apologize. Maybe I'll look again. And if I do, I'll just put a little addendum in there. But that's my steelbooks. And I divided this into let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six parts. Well, six parts, but I'll combine it all together in one video. Okay, anyway, let me know what you think of these steelbooks. I'm going to try to, again, put them all in one area if I can, just so I have them all in one area. But this is all the steelbooks I have collected over the years, a couple of years of collecting. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Anyway, again, like I said, I know the Dawn of Planet, I think it's just Dawn of the Planet. That's the one that I, the one with uh, Gary Oldman. That's the one I know I have. I know I bought that, I remember buying it. <laughs> and it was 3D and still, but I don't know where I, I'll look again, maybe I missed it before I make this video and put it up. Uh, I'll look for it again, just because I know I, I bought it and I don't know where it is. And maybe if I find it again, I'll make a quick <laughs> video, a little minute video, so here it is. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of these 
steel books, uh, feel free to leave comments down below. And I'm also going to try to order me some of those bags so I can put these in, in the bags and just take off these things and put them in the bags so they're protected. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of these uh, steel books in my collection. What do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. And if you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long. Take care. I wanted to pop right back in here one quick minute. I did find three other steel books, but I'm still missing the uh, the Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, the second movie. And I looked twice through both cells, and I can't find it. I don't know what I have to do with it, uh, or like I said, to double check. But please let me just go through these three books, the last steel books. I think this is everything. I don't know why. I know I I remember buying distinctly buying the or maybe I bought the 3D version. But either, either way, I can't find the movie. So I don't know if I lent it to my brother or something or whatever, and I just can't remember that because that movie came out years ago. But anyway, any event, I'll just buy the steel book again because I know I had that after the second movie. I have the, the first movie. I have like the French version and a, like a German version, uh, steel books. But I know I had that first, the first movie, an American version, steel book, I think. And I don't know. I can't find them. So but anyway, Star Trek Into Darkness. That's the one, you know. That one, that's, and the next one is, uh, this is a uh, vampire movie, Bat, I, call it, I guess you pronounce it Bat Zatanen. Okay, this is Gemma Everton and Sorcerer and Ronan. And this is really a vampire flick. Okay, and then of course, Man of Steel. Okay, which you sometimes see sticking out of the corner there. Okay, now I have all the steel books sitting right here on the floor. <laughs> and yeah, uh, so this video is probably going to go up tomorrow on Wednesday. I was tr trying to get this video up today, but yeah, like I said, I was searching again for that Apes movie, The Dawn of the Planet Apes, and I can't find that steel book to save my life. I know I, ha I thought I had that for sure, but I I can't find it. I got the first movie, of course. I got the French version that I ordered, and then the German version I got from overseas. Somebody ordered that for me. But for some reason, the middle movie, I remember that steel book coming out, and I didn't get And I, I thought I bought that for, sh for sure. Because I love those movies, but I can't. Sorry, I can't find it. But any of that, uh, that's the majority of this. And like I said, this video is going to be about almost 40 minutes, and I apologize for the length of it. But uh, I just wanted to get it all in in one video. And what I'll do is I'll probably render this video as I go to sleep, and then that way when I wake up, I can just upload it. And this again, that's all my steel books, and I got to order the uh, plastic sleeves so I can put these on the plastic sleeves and. And then I'm eventually I'm going to put it all in one area on the steel books. I think I got over 100 and, 125 at least, maybe 150. Right. Count that again. Or maybe I'll count it before I put them back on the shelf. Anyway, that's it. Just feel free again. Feel free to leave comments. Again, I'm sorry. I apologize for this little addendum. But I look, I looked twice through everything to find that Apes movie, and I couldn't find that Dawn of the Planet Apes movie uh, for for that same amount. I I know I bought it. So I don't know. Like I said. I'm, Unless one of my, I gave it to one of my brothers and I didn't remember laying it to him or something. But anyway, uh, feel free to leave comments again. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long. Take care.